So I would like to invite our keynote speaker, Professor Dr. Khalid Mahmood. He is the Professor of Information Management at the University of the Punjab, Lahore, Pakistan. Currently, he is Dean of the Faculty of Information and Medi uh, Medical uh, Media Studies, former Dean, Faculty of Economics and Management Sciences, and Director, Institute of Information Management at the University of the Punjab. He has a qualification of postdoctoral research at the University of California, Los Angeles, USA. And 30 plus years of experience in the field of education, he has about 200 publications on his credit. He has supervised many doctoral, ampil, and master's theses. He is working from uh, many research journals as editor, reviewer, and editorial board member. He has conducted many training programs for the librarians and faculty of higher education institutions. The topic of his studies talk is role of social networking in professional development of the librarians, cases from developing countries. Over to you, Dr. Khalid. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Tariq. Uh, uh, good morning and assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, as uh, uh, Dr. Tariq uh, said that, uh, my topic is, let me, let me uh, share my screen first. So, role of social networking in professional development of librarians. Uh, cases from developing countries. When we talk about uh, social networking, so social networking means the use of internet-based social media platforms to stay connected with friends, family, or peers. So basically, it is a mode of uh, connecting uh, people with each other. Social networking involves the development and maintenance of personal and business relationships using technology. So it is use of social networking sites and it is also called a social media. So here are the <clears throat> most common types of social media or social networking sites. So first of all is social networks. The examples are Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. The next is media sharing networks. Examples are Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. The next is discussion forums. Examples are Reddit, Quora, Dig. The next is bookmarking and content curation networks. Uh, the example is Pinterest. The next is consumer review networks. And examples are Yelp and TripAdvisor. The next is blogging and publishing networks. And examples are WordPress and Tumblr. Another is interest based networks. And the most common example is Goodreads. Uh, there are messaging apps. Uh, like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, etc. And there are academic social media also, especially for researchers and authors. Uh, the most common example is ResearchGate, and another common example is academia.edu. So when we talk about uh, continuing professional development, CPD, so it is a process of tracking and documenting the skills, knowledge, and experience that you gain both formally and informally as you work uh, beyond any initial training. So uh, this is the training or learning of the skills and knowledge and experience uh, during your job, so during your work, so beyond or after the uh, pre-service training. So continuing professional development is normally uh, self-directed. So use of social networking sites or social media by librarians. 
so there are many applications in the libraries and for librarians so cpd is uh, one of the applications so here is a summary of the applications for librarians so librarians can use social media for library service delivery uh, they can use uh, social media for the promotion or marketing of library services so they can uh, market uh, library collections also uh, it can be used uh, for delivering information literacy so in this area it is very common uh, librarians can have uh, feedback from uh, user or or the potential users means the community of the library uh, with the help of social media so librarians can uh, make networks among libraries and the librarians and they can do interlibrary cooperation or uh, resource sharing among libraries and the last but not least the continuing professional development of library staff can be done with the help of social networking sites. Uh, why social networking sites are useful for uh, continuing professional development? So here are uh, three points or three arguments or reasons for this. So first of all, uh, with the help of social media or social networking sites, uh, we can store content. So for continuing professional development or for learning or for uh, training, we need a content. So content is available on social media. The next is the communication. So the social media is a tool for communication among people. The next is interaction. So, so the social media of today, the web 2.0 or web 3.0. So it is two way communication among people. So people can teach others and the students or the learners can ask questions and make discussions with the help of social media. So these three uh, uh, benefits of social media uh, are useful for the uh, purpose of continuing professional development. So as we have focused our study or presentation on developing countries, so according to the uh, definition of International Monetary Fund IMF, uh, the developing countries are 152 sovereign states with a less developed industrial base and a lower human development index as compared to other countries. So there is a, a problem of digital access in developing countries. So developing countries are backward uh, in the use of internet and in the use of mobile technology etc so in technological advancements uh, the developing countries are not at par uh, with the developed countries so this is a specific problem the developing countries face so i have selected uh, a few cases uh, to share with you with the help of literature searching so I have searched a Lista database and Google Scholar uh, for my uh, purpose. So in the beginning, I found uh, many, many results. But after scanning the titles and abstracts, so I have selected 15 studies for you. And the criteria for inclusion of studies in my presentation include uh, uh, a paper should be a research paper or it must be a research study uh, it deals with 
वन और मोर डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज सो इन दिस पेपर द ऑथर्स आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन और मोर काइंड और टाइप्स ऑफ सोशल नेटवर्क प्लेटफॉर्म्स और सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द टारगेट ऑफ द सर्वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल शुड बी द लाइब्रेरियंस और एल आई एस प्रोफेशनल एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दैट पेपर मस्ट बी द यूज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया बाय द लाइब्रेरियंस फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ professional development or for the purpose of learning and training so let us see these 15 studies briefly so the first case is from africa the title is social media and professional networking a case of information professionals in the skexel region uh, the skexel is Uh, an association uh, covering uh, many uh, library associations in african countries so uh, this study covers many african countries the authors uh, are uh, j uh, chisinga and r chande melia so this study was a conference paper published in 2012 so briefly Uh, this study uh, was an online survey the number of participants uh, was uh, 394 uh, from 22 uh, different african countries 78% of the participants used social media applications in their career or in their work 80% of them uh, stated the reason for use as need to connect with professional colleagues uh, the most popular uh, social media applications were facebook linkedin and google groups in this case uh, top purposes of use of social media networking sites were uh, keep in touch with professional colleagues uh, with 90% of uh, answers sharing information and knowledge with 88% of response and finding information related to one's professional field with 75% of response uh, they have also mentioned the uh, challenges or problems faced by the librarians in using social media and the top most problem was the lack of time so they showed that they had less time to use uh, social media for their work or for learning the next challenge is concerns of privacy and the next one is lack of use by other professional colleagues whom they wanted to uh, connect and share information so if there is not a culture of using social media then you alone cannot uh, be benefited uh, with this technology the next case is from india so its title is the benefits of social networking sites facebook in making awareness among the lis professionals of mlosc a group a case study so this group is uh, uh, from maharashtra uh, a state in india and uh, it is a group of librarians so it is again a survey the authors are uh, dt uh, kalbande and uh, the others so this is a a journal article published in international research journal of library information science uh, again in 2012 so briefly uh, this case shows that it was a survey with 184 participants 
and they were the members of Maharashtra Librarians Online Study Circle MLOSC. Uh, in the results, top purposes of Facebook use were to get interact professionally with the 66% of responses and to keep abreast of the latest news and commentaries. So this is a, a particular uh, a relevance with the uh, CPD. So it has 60% of responses. 69% of the participants were satisfied with the use of Facebook as a tool for professional awareness. So top problems or challenges in using Facebook were lack of time, 67%, no privacy ensured, 46%, and lack of technical support, so it had 30% of responses. The next case is again from India. Awareness and use of social networking sites by librarians of management institutions in Mumbai, the state of the art. Authors were uh, N. M. Joshi and S. Y. Uh, Bensoth. Uh, it is again a general article. Uh, published in Desidoc Journal of Library and Information Technology in 2016. <coughs> it was again a survey of 70 librarians in the area of Mumbai. 91% uh, of them were using any kind of uh, social networking sites. 45% librarians accepted that SNS use had added value to their professional life. 47% participants got professional expertise with the help of social media. 58% participants agreed that social media were useful for their interactive learning. The next case is again from India. Use of social networking sites by LIS professionals to build professional competency. A study. So authors were C. S. Sonavan and others. So it was published in Library Philosophy and Practice in 2021. So this study was again an online survey of 85 librarians. Uh, top used uh, social media were WhatsApp by 80% of users, Facebook by 72%, YouTube by 54% of users, and LinkedIn by 53% of users. So top content created, shared, or received by the respondents were conference brochures, uh, 67 out of 85 librarians. Innovative technology related uh, content by 65 in number and accreditation related content by 44 uh, librarians out of 85 librarians. So the next uh, uh, case is again uh, from India. Social media communication, Facebook use pattern of LIS people. The authors are uh, J. Adya and, uh, and J. Chandra, published in uh, Librarian in 2015. So, this case is again an online survey. The number of participants were 184 librarians. So the top reason for using Facebook was to get informed. So to get informed is a very core area of CPD. So the uh, participants were 118 who stated that uh, this was the reason to use Facebook. 
57% of them uh, were participated in a discussion or they have participated in a discussion anytime in their career on Facebook. So types of discussion uh, they have experienced it included seminar, conference, etc. with 22% of responses, professional discussion 21%, job related discussion 16% and technology related discussion 14%. 44% of the participants were fully and 45% were partially satisfied uh, with the discussion they have experienced uh, by using Facebook. Uh, case 6 is from Iran. The role of social networks in the scientific exchange of librarians, a case study. The authors are M. Anasi, uh, M. Ansari, sorry, M. Ansari and others. It was published in Library Philosophy and Practice in 2018. Uh, it was a survey of 125 librarians working in public libraries of Karman province of Iran. 22% uh, of librarians uh, considered social media role in scientific exchange as high while 74% considered it as average. So almost it is, it is near to 100%. So they considered uh, social media useful in their uh, uh, scientific exchange means in, in the exchange of their uh, professional content and their uh, research content and the scholarly content uh, with each other. The seventh case is from Jordan. The role of social networks in enhancing the library profession and promoting academic library services. A comparative study of the University of Jordan and Al Balka Applied University. Authors are F. Hamad and others. So it is published in uh, a journal of Librarianship and Information Science uh, from SAGE Publications and uh, it was published in 2017. So this case study uh, was covering two libraries and uh, the authors have surveyed 155 library staff or librarians from um, both universities. So they found that in general uh, library staff was of the view that social networking sites helped solve everyday problems and enabled them sharing experiences with colleagues from inside and outside the institution. So on a scale of uh, 1 to 5, the mean score uh, for this item was 3.75. So they found social networking sites useful uh, for sharing their experiences with, your, with their colleagues. The next case study is from Nigeria. It was work related to WhatsApp groups as knowledge sharing platforms among librarians in selected federal universities in Nigeria. Uh, the, the, the focus is on WhatsApp groups. Uh, the authors are E. E. Adomi and B. Solomon Uwakwe. So this paper was published in uh, Journal of ICT Development, Applications and Research in, two, in 2019. It was a survey uh, from 58 librarians working in five universities in Nigeria. 79% uh, of them uh, were the members of WhatsApp groups run by professional associations. 66 of them 
gave their opinion that ICT related knowledge was shared in the groups. Uh, top problems or challenges faced by the librarians were non adherence to group guidelines by some members. So due to this uh, non adherence, uh, they, uh, they faced irrelevant uh, uh, post or the garbage in the groups. Uh, cost of data, uh, the 72 percent uh, respondents uh, stated this issue. So cost of data means the internet is costly and uh, they uh, were not able to uh, connect their mobiles uh, all the time with the internet. So this was the problem stated by them. And large volume of posts, so including irrelevant posts, or even even they were uh, relevant so the large volume of post in a group uh, was a problem stated by the librarians in nigeria the case number nine is again from nigeria uh, librarians use of social media for professional development in nigeria the author is uh, ud onuha it was published in Information Management and Business Review in, in 2013. So this is an online survey of 180 members of Nigerian Library Association. Top social media used for professional learning were Facebook with 78% of responses. Wikis and mainly in Wikis they used uh, a Wikipedia uh, with 71% of responses. Uh, they used blogs and YouTube as well. So top learning strategies used uh, by the librarians include reading through the conversation of others with 83% of responses, joining discussion groups with 78% of responses, and asking questions on social media with 56% of responses. 53 percent uh, librarians were satisfied with the use of uh, social networking sites uh, to a large extent while 32 percent of them uh, stated that they were satisfied to a moderate extent so mostly uh, they were satisfied with the use of social media uh, for the purpose of learning and training especially the case 10 is again from Nigeria influence of gender on attitude towards the use of social media for continuing professional development among academic librarians in Nigeria the author is SN Anasi uh, it was published in information and learning sciences it was Emerald journal uh, in 2018 In this case, uh, a survey was conducted uh, from 56 librarians working in five universities. Uh, top social media uh, used for CPD activities include uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, Academia.edu, Google+, YouTube, and LinkedIn. The highest mean score, 3.55, uh, it was uh, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 5 so strongly disagree to strongly agree so the highest mean score was for the statement i enjoyed using social media for cpd the next uh, mean score 3.52 was for the statement or item social media uh, promote networking among lis professionals so they found uh, uh, social media useful for the uh, CPD activities uh, as it was uh, uh, a study on the uh, uh, looking at the difference uh, between two genders so they found no significant difference uh, among male and female librarians towards the use of social media for the purpose of CPD The eleventh case is from Nigeria again. 
awareness and use of social media for informal scientific communication among librarians in university libraries in south south uh, nigeria the author is o akun ghai it was uh, a master's thesis for uh, uh, master of sciences uh, it was uh, uh, submitted in delta state university abkara in 2017 so this thesis was based on a survey of uh, 202 librarians so top used uh, sns include facebook with 80% response whatsapp with 60% participants and twitter with again 60% of participants so top challenges faced include lack of confidence in using sns 61% technical issues 58% and lack of enough skills uh, to use sns so they they felt some technical issues and uh, lack of skills in using uh, various types of various kinds of social media uh, case 12 is from pakistan the title is professional development through social media applications a study of female librarians in pakistan the authors are a khan and jt du it was published in information and learning science in 2017 so they surveyed in online mode of 102 female librarians in working in pakistan the participants strongly agreed on some items uh, use of social media contributes to my professional skills the next item was uh, contra uh, contradictory remarks or comments increase my understanding over technical issues and another item was social media develops understanding on social and professional issues so uh, the the female librarians from pakistan uh, they were uh, in favor of the items uh, regarding the role of social media in the activities of uh, continuing professional development the next case uh, is again from pakistan knowledge sharing through uh, web 2.0 uh, technologies a study of community of practice of librarians so the authors are s ahmed and others so i i myself uh, am also an author in this paper it was published in uh, peshawar university uh, teachers association general pu taj humanities and social sciences in in 2017 so in this paper Uh, we conducted an online survey of 100 librarians uh, in various areas in pakistan uh, top social networking sites used by librarians include wikis blogs facebook uh, twitter google docs and slide share uh, types of knowledge shared uh, in these uh, social networking sites include work experiences 85% responses and expertise from training uh, with 72% of responses the 14th case again from pakistan role of virtual communities of practice uh we cop in continuous professional development of librarians a case of uh, yahoo mailing group from pakistan the authors are uh, uh, s kutub and others and so it is a uh, it is a very recent publication even it is uh, appeared on the uh, library manage management website as an early publication uh, recently it is available so in this case 
तो पी एल जी पी के याहू मेले ग्रुप वॉज सेलेक्टेड एट द के स्टडी सो ओरिजिनली इट वॉज अ कॉन्टेंट अनालिसिस ऑफ मोर देन सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड ई मेल मैसेजेस सेंड ऑन दिस ग्रुप सो लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मैसेज फाउंड इन सी पी डी एरियाज एंड दीज एरियाज आर नॉलेज शेयरिंग कम्युनिकेशन collaboration and networking uh, the last case is from vietnam a uh, professional development via facebook group perception of school librarians the author is uh, uh, z hussain it is it is uh, a conference paper uh, published in the conference proceedings in uh, 2017 So this case uh, was an online survey of four zero four school librarians. So these librarians were from various countries. The the author author belong to Vietnam, but the participants belong to various countries. Eighty nine percent of school librarians used uh, social media to keep up to date professionally. Uh, top social media used for CPD include Facebook, uh, Twitter, and blogs. Thirty-eight uh, percent librarians rated Facebook groups as a very useful tool for CPD. The challenges or problems uh, in using Facebook include lack of time and overwhelming number of posts to read. So these were the fifteen cases. So if we talk about a summary of the of, the, of these cases, so we have found that uh, librarians. are using or have been using uh social media or social networking sites so they have used a variety of social media in their work or in their uh, uh, cpd activities so most of the users uh, in these cases were satisfied with the use of social media for the purpose of cpd but they also faced some challenges so we can uh, make a list of the challenges uh, by looking at these uh, cases so it was the summary of the cases and uh, i have some recommendations in my presentation here so looking at these cases uh, librarians found social media helpful for the purpose of cpd activities so it was useful to them so we have to facilitate librarians in using these technologies so there may be some uh, uh, policy implications and some practice implications of my presentation of these cases so the the policy makers and the and the service providers uh, should make uh, social networking sites easier and user friendly for librarians and even now in this world in this era uh, we can find uh, a few <clears throat> libraries or few uh, educational institutions in developing countries who are not allowing dr khalid uh, allowing yes yes allowing the mm, i'm the mm, i'm closing this this uh, this is the uh, last one so uh, we can find uh, uh many institutions in in developing countries who are not allowing their staff to use uh, social media on campus so there are many hurdles and problems and uh, in the last uh, there must be uh, some research on the effectiveness of social media for the purpose of uh, cpd uh in in librarians or libraries so thank you very much uh, dr tarik thank you dr khalid uh, due to uh, some time constraints i may not be able to uh, get uh, questions from the audience but you can send uh, questions to dr khalid through chat box or even through emails thank you very much dr khalid this really a wonderful presentations on the topic Thank you.